Good evening, welcome to our service of Compline. Let's come before the Lord. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. So a moment of reflection on the day now past. And we pray together. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 139 O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. But there's not a word on my tongue, but you, O oh Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high, that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes behold my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written as day by day they were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. How great are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah chapter 58 verses 6 and 7 Is this not the fast that I choose, to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked, to cover them, and not to hide yourself from your own kin.
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Christ died for us, so that whether we wake or sleep, we might live with him. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ died for us, so that whether we wake or sleep, we might live with him. And so with the image of a remarkable woman, Harriet Monsell, founder of the community of St John the Baptist at Clua, a place that means so much for me. It was there that I, on retreat, found myself aware of the call God had placed upon me. An amazing woman who gave her life to the service of God. And as we look at her, as we think of all who have served God, as we come this night, remembering hopefully to add an hour to our clocks for British summer time, and coming tomorrow for Mothering Sunday, as we celebrate the beginning of our Christian faith, our journey through baptism, the principle being that you go back to your mother church, the mother church in which you were baptised. It celebrates not the building, but actually celebrates the fact that we are the living stones that are the church. So, Father, we thank you tonight as we look at this woman, as we think of the communities she founded and the work that they did, how they were brothers and sisters alongside the priests and the monks and the people with whom they worked in the faith they were church that we bring to you tonight that relationship that makes us church that makes us family and lord we pray for those who have blessed us and whom we have blessed this day for the privilege of giving and receiving we pray for those who've wounded us and who we may have wounded this day and pray that we might be reconciled with them and they with us, and that we might be a people of faith and unity, that we might be one as Jesus and the Father and the Spirit are one. So, Lord, on this night when we come, we think of families. We think of those on our hearts and minds this night. We think of John Hambridge and his family as he prays for a sister-in-law and for brother Derek who's had a stroke and also now beset by Covid. We pray also for Sue Shakespeare and her family, for Will and the whole family as they pray for her and the stroke that she also has had. Father we pray for the Williams family, for Bob the rest of the family as they pray for Jill and cope with her mental health issues. We pray for Carol and her family as she recovers from a heart attack. We pray for the Popov family and for all in Ukraine at this time under bombardment and in conflict from an aggressor. We pray for the Popovs and for all this night were no adversity through military 
and cruel actions. For the Treadwell family as they pray for Pat. For the Cooleys as they pray for the needs in their family and especially for Emma recovering from long Covid. We pray for Evangeline and the Vandenbergs in South Africa for all their needs, for their ministries, for their lives. We pray for Olive Taylor and sister-in-law Trish and the rest of the family as they pray and watch and wait and hope with Ian with his MND. We thank you especially this night for the good news for June Cottrell who having had surgery has been given the all clear now from cancer and requires just some kits and radiotherapy to clear up the ends. And Lord we pray for our church family for Karen and Sheila and Norman. We pray for Enid and Estherline. For Derek Pritchard. We pray for our church family and for families alike, for Terry and Barbara, Janet and Brian and for their whole family as they pray for Harry and Damien. We pray for June, for her life, her health and her housing needs. We pray for Mabel Rose's family as they watch and pray and rejoice at her slow recovery. For Philip his needs and for the needs of his brothers and sisters and grandchildren, the nieces and nephews, for all the needs within the Hope clan near and far, for Leah and Kev and for their children and their partners, for Effie and for Gabriella and all that is happening in them. We pray for Derek, who is recovering from his fall, of Mo and George and their family as they come to celebrate an anniversary, a wedding anniversary this week, although a week late. We pray for George's situation and we pray for Mo's strength as she cares. For our own, for my own family, our family, Wendy and I, with Marianne, and for. Cornelia and Josh with their pregnancy, for Harrison with Marianne and the university, for Gabriella and Rob, for Toby, for Amy, for Sue and Roger, Graham and Gillian, Margaret and John, for Tracy, Chris and Kath for the Mitchell family and their needs. Lord, we pray for Gillian, Luke and Simon and for the Eden family and all that is happening in their lives, for their witness, for Josh's health needs and for all that they do in ministry and life. And Father God, we Bring before you this night the people whose names are known only to us and ask that you would bring your healing, your health and your presence. And as we go to our beds, Lord, we pray, visit this place, O Lord, to drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And with the words our Saviour gave us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, 
the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. So thank you for being with us tonight. Stay safe, sleep well. Don't forget, at that hour to the clock, and tomorrow, Mothering Sunday, we celebrate all that church is, the living stones that we are, our journeying, our faith, our unity. Sleep well, be safe, bless you guys. Good night.